Sophie Jane Raworth is a British newsreader and journalist who works for the BBC. She is the main presenter of the BBC News at One, presenting Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and regularly appears on the BBC News at Six and occasionally on BBC News at Ten. In 2015, she became the new presenter of consumer affairs programme Watchdog, replacing Anne Robinson. Early life, born in Redhill, Surrey, to a florist mother and a businessman father, Raworth was brought up in Twickenham, southwest London and attended the independent Putney High School and St Paul's Girls School in Hammersmith. After completing a degree in French and German at the University of Manchester, Raworth spent a year teaching English to teenagers in Toulouse before studying for a postgraduate course in broadcasting and journalism at City University London. Career Raworth joined the BBC in 1992 as a news reporter, first for Greater Manchester Radio and then as BBC Regions correspondent in Brussels in April 1994. In May 1995, she became the regular joint presenter of BBC's Look North programme in Leeds. Raworth moved to national television in 1997, to co-present the BBC's breakfast news programme on BBC One, initially with Justin Webb, and in later years, with John Nicholson. Raworth then joined the BBC's early morning news programme Breakfast at its launch in 2000, which he presented alongside Jeremy Bowen on Monday or Euro Thursdays. She then moved to the BBC Six O'Clock News in January 2003 which she presented alongside George Olegiak. She was a presenter on this bulletin until October 2005 when she went on maternity leave, and was replaced by Natasha Kaplinsky. In March 2006 Raworth was named as the main presenter of the BBC News at One, replacing Anna Ford on Monday, Thursdays. She took up the position in June 2006 after returning from maternity leave. She also can occasionally be seen presenting relief shifts on the rolling news channel BBC News Channel. Raworth has presented several BBC specials, including coverage of the Queen's Golden Jubilee and our monarchy a Euro the next 50 years, both alongside David Dimbleby. In addition, she has appeared on Tomorrow's World and Entertainment programs such as Dream Lives in the Judgmental Quiz Show in Autumn 2002. In 2004 Raworth appeared on the BBC fashion show What Not to Wear, in which she was given a makeover by style advisors Trini Woodall and Susanna Constantine. In 2006 she was part of the television coverage of the Children's Party at the Palace, an event to celebrate the Queen's 80th birthday. Along with Hugh Edwards, she presented some fake news updates for the programme, which led to many complaints from viewers. Raworth had a cameo role as a news reader in the last series of the BBC comedy series My Hero. In August 2007, it was reported by The Guardian that with the departure of Kirsty Young from Five News, the broadcaster was on the lookout for a big name to replace her. Raworth was seen as a possibility. However, another BBC news reader, Natasha Kaplinsky was recruited. At the end of the one o'clock news on January 31, 2008, she announced that she would be leaving the programme until the summer, and confirmed Kate Silverton as presenting the bulletin during her absence. Raworth returned on August 25, 2008, after the birth of her third child, with the presentation of the bank holiday edition of the BBC News at 1, BBC News at 6 and BBC News at 10. Raworth ran the Great North Run on October 5, 2008. Since early 2009, Raworth has been the main relief presenter on the BBC News at 6 and a regular relief presenter on the BBC News at 10, often presenting when regular presenters Hugh Edwards, Fiona Bruce and George Alagian are not available. She has also appeared in place of Andrew Marr on The Andrew Marr Show, and presented on the BBC News Channel. In May 2009 she presented The Trouble with Working Women with reporter and father of three Justin Rowlatt on the BBC. The programme looked at the role of the working woman. In 2009, she presented Crime Watch Road Show on BBC One on weekday mornings. In 2013, Raworth had a cameo appearance at the start of the film A Good Day to Die Hard as Herself. On July 16, 2013, Raworth was given an award of Doctor of Arts Honoris Causa by City University London. Raworth presented Watchdog Daily in 2012 and Watchdog Test House in 2014 and 2015, 
before landing the role of main presenter on Watchdog in September 2015. She replaced Anne Robinson. Personal life, Raworth, who lives in West London, married her old friend, estate agent Richard Winter of Savills in Hammersmith and Fulham, London, in December 2003, after he proposed to her on the Amalfi Coast. The couple have two daughters and a son. Equals charity equals, on April 17, 2011, Raworth completed the London Marathon despite collapsing two miles from the finish line. She has now completed four marathons, most recently the London Marathon 2014. On April 13, 2014, she took part in the 2014 London Marathon having completed the course in just over three hours and 48 minutes after once again gaining a celebrity place to ensure a good finishing time. Filmography, Film, A Good Day to Die Hard a Euro Cameo, Herself, TV, Breakfast a Euro Presenter, BBC News at 6 a Euro Newscaster, BBC News at 1 a Euro Newscaster, Crime Watch Road Show a Euro Presenter, Watchdog Daily a Euro Presenter, The Andrew Marr Show a Euro Guest Presenter, Watchdog Test House a Euro Co-Presenter, Chelsea Flower Show a Euro Presenter, Watchdog a Euro Presenter. References External links, BBC News Profile of Sophie Raworth, Sophie Raworth at the Internet Movie Database, Sophie Raworth Profile TV Newsroom, Telegraph Article April 2005, Raworth Steps In for Ford.